In this video, I'll show you how to cast your Oculus Quest 3 to your TV. This way, you'll be able to see whatever you're seeing in the headset on your big screen. Before even starting to show you how to do it, it's very important to understand that the Quest 3 is only able to cast to a Google TV, which means that you need to have a Chromecast connected to your TV just like in my case over here, this is my Chromecast that is connected to the HDMI port. Or if you don't have a Chromecast, your TV should have Google OS or Android TV installed on it. I know that some Samsung TV has it, even some Hisense TV have this feature, but you absolutely need to have Android TV. If you have Roku or a Fire Stick or even another um, TV OS, well, this will not work. I'll put a link in the description if you want to get a Chromecast. I know there is an HD version and a 4K, at least at the moment I'm recording this video. If you want to get one of these from Amazon, check the links. So let's get started. Step number one is to turn on your Quest. Okay, now we are on the Quest 3. You're gonna open this menu by pressing the meta button on the right side controller. And then you need to select camera or if you don't see camera, select share. If you don't see any of these, just click on the app library and you should see these options over here. So in my case, I have camera here, but if you see share, so in my case, I see camera here, I will tap on it and then I will tap on cast. That is the button over here. Unfortunately, cast is grayed out in this Example, because I'm currently screen recording. You cannot screen record and have access to cast at the same time. But once you click on cast and you see over here under computer, you should see the name of your TV. Mine is called Basement TV because this is what I call it. And you can see Chromecast under it. It's very important that the Chromecast or the Android TV is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your MetaQuest 3. If they're not on the same network, you won't be able to see them here. On the TV, you don't have to do anything, absolutely anything apart turning it on. And this is how you'll be able to see it on this list. Then you just have to click on the name and press the next button. Usually it takes about five to 10 seconds and the image will appear on the TV. So this is what I'm seeing while wearing the Quest 3 and you can launch any games at this point and the casting will continue and the people around you will be able to see whatever you're seeing on your Quest. Another way that you can do the same exact thing as I showed you now is by using your smartphone. So make sure your Quest 3 is turned on and that your Chromecast or Android TV is turned on as well. Find the MetaQuest app that you have downloaded and pair your device with and open this app. Once you're on the main screen of the app, you're gonna tap on menu over here and then tap on casting, this button. Then select your MetaQuest 3 and then on the top, do not click on this phone because this will just mean that the Quest will cast on your phone, but we want on your, the TV. So what you'll need to do is to press the small arrow on the right side. And then on the bottom of your phone, you're gonna see other devices, tap on this. It will search, you just have to wait. Again, both of these need to be connected on the same Wi-Fi network. And then tap on your TV that will appear in this list and you need to wear your Quest 2, uh, your Quest 3 at this point and press start when you're ready. You just need to wait. And here we go. Right now I'm seeing what I'm uh, seeing in my headset. So this is another way that this can be done and you have a few controls on your smartphone if you're doing this way. So you can recenter, activate the pass-through, have access to uh, your different apps using your smartphone. So this can be cool because you can keep your phone in your pocket and interact this way. Or maybe let's say you're uh, giving your Quest 3 to a friend to try it for the first time, 
but you still want to keep control on what that person is doing on your quest tree using your smartphone while you'll have access to the different apps you'll be able to launch them for him maybe he doesn't know how to do it and do stuff like that